Now the next part of the lesson, we're going to look at getting Pac-Man to move. Um, so what I want to do is when the game is started, um, I want Pac-Man to move forwards automatically. So basically, when the green flag is clicked, I want Pac-Man to move 10 steps. If you think back to the last part of the lesson, uh, you'll remember that uh, we had to loop using a forever loop to make him keep changing the costume. Uh, now we can do the same thing again by using a forever loop, except um, this won't work quite as we want because it'll keep going until uh, it hits the edge of the screen. So we need to do something slightly different. So I'm just going to get rid of this forever loop, like so. And we're going to use something called a, uh, a forever if. This means that we can, can put a condition on our uh, forever loop and actually stop it at some point. So if I just bring Pac-Man back to the start, uh, we're going to go to the sensing option and we're going to choose this uh, third option down, which is different um, colours. Uh, it tests whether different colours are touching each other. So I'm going to start by saying the colour green from um, the circle in front of Pac-Man is touching the red. And what that means is while that sensing circle at the front of Pac-Man is touching the red background, it's going to move 10 steps. As soon as it hits the black section, it's actually going to stop. So if I run it now, you'll see that Pac-Man actually stops before he hits the end of the maze. 